Steve Weathers, President and CEO of the Erie County Industrial Development Agency. Erie County Industrial Development Agency, or IDA, really is a, a financing um, organization. We provide capital and various uh, types of capital to companies, so we're really not as focused on business attraction, but we finance the deals uh, once those deals are either in our community or on the retention side, we finance deals there. Uh, I've been in economic development more than 20 years, and I've worked around the country, and I think what it really is is the great success we bring to not just the community, but to the citizens and the individuals you know, that are in that community. Uh, I think that the need there, and it's probably been said by, by other people that you interview, is we're really a conveners, facilitators. We bring the, all the parties together that maybe wouldn't come together in any other format or way uh, to really create success for the whole community in the region. Uh, I think it's uh, right now, today, I think it's a recruitment of younger people into the profession, the diversity that we have in the profession uh, in a variety of ways, in, in a number of ways, however you want to count diversity. Uh, a lot of the um, executives in this profession are like me, they're older, and so in a number of years we will retire and I think we've really made an effort to, to bring along young professionals and create a more diverse base of, of economic development professionals. Uh, I guess uh, for me again, I've, I've been around quite a while, I teach different courses and what I find is, is, the, is the more I think I know, I really don't know. And so continue to learn, continue to network. Um, you're never going to learn it all, so don't think there's an end to the race, there really isn't. And just continue to uh, really learn from others around you. I think for me personally what it does is a place that coalesces other professionals, educational opportunities, networking opportunities. So it's really a way to, you know, it's kind of a, a pinnacle event. It brings everything together uh, various times during the year and it gives me a network of people that are in this profession I can go to and that's, you talk, asked earlier about mentors. Uh, the whole membership is kind of a mentorship group for me. I think what's interesting is while everybody here is probably in some way, shape, or form a competitor, when they come together, they're more than happy to collaborate, share ideas, share best practices, um, go back to the communities. When it comes to a specific deal, they might, they might compete, and that's great, but I think it's more of a collegial, collaborative environment uh, throughout the whole spectrum of, of professionals. You know, that's, it's a great question, but there's no simple answer because it really depends. In my case, um, our agency, we generate fees, we don't have membership, uh, we don't collect tax revenue, so we generate our own income. So money, in essence, is not a problem or an issue with us. Maybe it might be political issues for us that we deal with. Another community, it might be that they have no political issues, but they have a tough time raising money. Another community, it might be that they're looking for deal opportunities. So there's really no one answer. It kind of depends on the specific environment that that entity is in. Yeah, I think what, what it, it does really matter. Um, I think the credit is kind of self-evident. I don't think as a professional, all my years, I never have to stand up and say, see what I did. What I really do, and I think all of us do this, when we bring together the public sector and the private and the academic and the community and the business, and these deals happen, I don't, since they're different groups, they don't realize the strength they have by coming together. So the credit really goes to all of them. I think when the success happened, it's kind of self-evident that the economic development professional was that person that was able to bring it together. Yeah, I can tell you one specifically. Um, if you want to really get specific, it's a company called Howard Light, which probably was purchased by somebody years ago. They made uh, ear protection devices. And they were coming, I was in the San Diego area, we were attracting them from another part of the country. They came in, they were gonna create manufacturing jobs, and all that sounds good, you know, but it wasn't that. It was when I was there and the receptionist, who was Hispanic, who came up to me and you know, there's this young girl that I didn't know and she introduced, I introduced myself, so, oh, Mr. Weathers, I'm so glad you made this deal happen. I'm divorced, I have four kids, I've been unemployed for months, and if it weren't for you, I would not have my job here. That's not really true, probably. I'm sure she got the job on her own. But that's, I think, that was probably maybe two years into my career. That's what sealed it for me. So that, to me, that, you're not going to read that in the paper. And I think if you talk to every professional, they have that individual story. So I think, um, you know, the question about legacy, what would I leave behind? It's really not going to be a great deal that I did, although I've worked on things like putting together the Lego theme park out in California, or a large Geico insurance deals, or Merck, and, and other very well-known, it's really not that. that. That's kind of the day job. I think because most of these organizations, at least the ones that I've worked in, we have 15 staff, I have 17 staff now, 10, they're small, they're family companies. And I think what it really is, 
is bringing young staff along that they're able to move on in their careers. And probably one of the greatest things for me, and I have it happening right now, is my CFO, who's been with the organization for 13 years, is moving on to a bigger and better position. Most people might be upset. I, I guess I am in, a, in one way, because I have to replace him, but I'm really happy and proud that he has moved to that next level in his career. So it's really bringing staff along to, to help them in their career. And that, that's what makes me, I think that's what makes us all uh, good in our jobs. Uh, I think the profession probably doesn't get enough uh, credit. Um, I think we need to do a, a good job in, in not talking about what we do as success, but kind of talking to, about the profession to uh, people out in our community. And again, I kind of can't emphasize enough being one of the older ones in the profession, bringing along young professionals and mentoring them and showing them that this is a, a very rewarding career uh, that you can have uh, for decades to come. Uh, the question on mentorship, yes, I, I do believe that. I really didn't have anybody I fell into this position, but uh, as I've become um, more experienced in my career, I do take people right now and I talk to them about the CXD exam, so I kind of tell them what to expect, what to look for. Um, I don't know the questions, I don't know the answers, but I try to coach them along or even maybe give them a pep talk, you know, here's what to experience. Uh, I think within my own staff, I do that on a regular basis where I give my younger staff uh, authority and responsibility to really lead efforts. So I want them to know I'm, I'm going to be handing the baton to you. I'm not going to be here forever. Uh, and I want to make sure that, that when I move on, I retire and I do whatever, that they have the confidence uh, to take that leadership position.